As many of you are well aware, at Game of Muscle videos we tend to play a lot of driving simulators, and most of our gaming and computer use is uh, conducted from within the Symmetic K2 cockpit driving simulator throne. And though we have been playing the X-Plane 11 Alpha using the uh, pretty good Hotas Rhino X55 by Saytech, having a steering wheel and pedals in front of me got me thinking, is it possible to fly a plane using just a steering wheel and pedals? Of course, thanks to Mark Webber, we know it's indeed possible to fly a car with a steering wheel and pedals, but not a plane. So here we are in X-Plane 11, and I'd also like to point out that the X-Plane 11 developers gave us a key to make some serious flight sim review videos of X-Plane 11. They're probably going to regret that now. As you can see, we've set it up so that the steering wheel turns the plane left and right, the, the roll. We've got the PT-1 accelerator pedal controlling what looks like a pinball flicker in this Cessna, but that's actually the throttle. And then we've got the clutch to control yaw and the brake to control the left toe brake. And as you can see, we're, we're making our way down the runway a little bit unstable using the full extent of the runway here of course those of you that do racing will know so long as you've got at least one tire inside the uh, the white line it's all legal and we are airborne now that sound that resembles a kitten being slowly run over by a lorry is uh, the stall warning for the uh, plane unfortunately we don't have any control over pitch other than uh, our throttle input and our steering input. So the majority of this flight will be taking place at somewhat of an angle, though uh, should feel quite comfortable. It'll be like one of those gravity chairs you can buy for a couple of thousand pounds. If you look out the window to the left, uh, we've got a good opportunity here to admire the Autogen scenery in X-Plane 11, which looks fantastic, but also the road with moving cars on it the drivers of which are probably wondering why there's a Cessna flying like an inebriated seagull above them, but having said that, I do live at the end of a small runway where people do pilot training, and uh, the way we're flying in this isn't that dissimilar to how the pilots often come into land, so maybe flying with a steering wheel isn't uh, that uncommon. We're about halfway through our flight now, and you can see we started to get a hang of things. It turns out you have to modulate the throttle to kind of catch the plane as it tilts up, or just come off it just before it tilts up, and then you can kind of balance it out. And uh, it actually really highlights the subtleties of X-Plane 11's flight model, in that there's all these little nuances and details that you can work with, and it makes just flying these smaller planes at a basic level really rewarding and uh, deep even if you have chosen to use a steering wheel to fly your plane with at this point we realized our first attempt at landing wasn't going to work we, we were coming in too high and too hot and you can't just point the plane down you, we actually have to uh, get the height the altitude off by just flying with no throttle and sort of gliding things down a bit. So we're going to take a bit of a longer approach, a bit more of a drawn out approach. The, the passengers are going to get some extra time in this plane to admire the vineyards. Again, look at the fantastic scenery right off into the distance. The draw distance, actually, of the Autogen uh, trees and buildings is mind-blowing in X-Plane 11. With <laughs> the angle of the plane... We've got more angle than a protractor at full tilt here. Oh, we're leveling it out. Look at the uh, steering input as well. We've uh, captured the view on the left hand there, so you can you can admire our full utilisation of the 900 degrees of steering input that we've set. We didn't uh, line things up one to one with the Cessna. I didn't know what the actual rotational value of the flight yoke is in a Cessna, but you can go to uh, 1,080 degrees of rotation, I think with the TSPC racer, but we, we've got 900 here. We've turned the force view back off because that just would have been too intense. Look at that flick of the wheel, straighten things up. And we are on our final approach. Time to get excited. Will we survive the landing or will we end up hospitalized? 
that's that's generally what I think about any time I'm in a real plane, actually. And hopefully they're not flying with steering wheels. The lorry driver needs to hurry up and finish the job with that kitten. It's starting to grate on us a bit. I think there probably is a button in the cockpit to disable the uh, stall detection. And actually, it's worth saying, all the dials work and are also available to be interacted with. And if you get a chance to play X-Plane 11 in virtual reality, you also notice that they're all sort of layered properly behind glass and they, they look very solid and very real. We're actually using the uh, attitude indicator quite a lot here to uh, steer the plane because the plane is pointing towards the sky. We can't really see the ground very clearly. But there you look at that beautiful approach, completely conventional. We fly over the cameraman. And there we go, the runway completely non-visible, but there it is to the left of us. So we're going to try and navigate the plane a bit. Coming in. Don't worry, everything's under control. Totally under control. And uh, touchdown. Not even a... Well, okay, the front wheel bounced, but I, I think that was pretty smooth. I'm happy with that. Next step is going to be the Alaskan stall competitions using a steering wheel, but um, oh, we appear to be running a bit wide. The counter steer not working there, and uh, full effect of the left brake comes in, and then we've overcompensated, so we need to use the uh, the yaw on the on the clutch. And almost almost losing the plane, but we've caught it and we turned the engine off. All is safe, all is good. A successful flight, and I think we have proven that you can fly at least a Cessna in perfect conditions with a steering wheel and pedals. Now, um, I, I think your life has only been improved with that knowledge. Feel free to click on the subscribe button if you like this type of video content. And um, we've also got some other videos. We've got us doing a little tour around the Grand Canyon with British Airways. And we've got a video of us playing Counter-Strike Go with a steering wheel. That's, that's generally what we do here at Game Muscle Videos. So uh, until the next video, goodbye.